What Did I Miss is a play by Sean Dunn, which we commissioned uh, in the middle of the pandemic. And what we really wanted to do was reflect children's experience of that time and make a connection with the child's voice and children's direct experience of living through unprecedented events. So the ARC approached me about writing the piece in the summer of 2020, so it was very swiftly developed in the wake of the first lockdown. Due to the changing levels and public safety precautions, we had to hold off on premiere in the show. So it's really exciting now to be here finally in 2021 and gearing up to deliver the work via a live stream for the Brightening Air Festival. This play was conceived as a traditional theatre piece to be presented in a theatre setting. So now we're going to live stream it and that's how it's going to have its, its first outing. So for us that presents all sorts of artistic challenges but opportunities as well and we're looking forward to figuring that out. We have to be so careful that we don't engineer the immediacy out of theatre, that we keep the live moment, give the audience a sense of what it would be like to be there, but doing it slightly differently than the piece would ever have been realised in person is something that creates a new way for this play to be experienced for people. So um, my character's name is Kyla. She's this very driven, like, 13-year-old. She wants to, like, get this graduation done as kind of like a closure, because in a way she's somewhat lost during this lockdown. For me personally, the show is really about reaching out and trying to communicate. Particularly for teens and kids, it's just not your everyday theatre piece and it feels really real and really attainable and really rooted and also with a bit of fun. I think the live streaming is more a modern thing and so perhaps there might be more young adults or more um, young people my age who might be interested who'd like to actually see it themselves. When I was first writing the show, the whole graduation process for primary school leavers was being disrupted for the first time. And now as we finally go to premiere the piece, it's happening for the second time. So for me, um, the circumstance that Kyla finds herself in is very charged and very loaded. We've made the decision to locate the play still in 2020, because dramatically that was a time of like tremendous change and uncertainty. So I think it's quite an interesting window of time to focus in on. But it is very interesting for us as we navigate the direction of the piece again, to just kind of clue into the fact that, wow, this is another class of young people who are very much feeling blocked and feeling like they're not getting the chance to say goodbye to a very formative time in their lives. We're uh, more experienced and better understanding perhaps of the show itself, morally and emotionally in that way. I think that's important and it has made us stronger, yeah.